So are you as tired of all the baby talk as Jason is? Well, uh, we have different ways of dealing with things. Well, you've both been through a lot, you know? All the craziness of Franco, and you worried about him being sick, and... I'm sorry, I shouldn't no, be bringing that up again. It, it, it's okay. It's actually nice to talk to someone who understands. Franco's gone, and Jason's better, so now you can put all that bad stuff behind you. Yeah, I hope so. I, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm just happy for the both of you. You know, after everything you went through, now you can finally start a new chapter in your lives. Yeah. Can I talk to you? I'm sorry I walked away earlier. Don't worry about it. I know you're not big on social pleasantry, so... All right, how about I talk and you listen? Okay. Okay. So whatever fears or doubts that you seem to be having about this baby, you should probably work that out. But Jason, whatever it is, could you just include Sam in it? Because the more you shut her out, the more she's gonna be talking to strangers like John McBain. What does John McBain have to do with anything? between Sonny and Johnny has been going on way too long and too many people have been hurt and it has to end. Okay, look, I wouldn't try and pitch the idea of a truce tonight, though, Mom, because all you're going to do is fight with Dad and that completely defeats the purpose hey, of you I'm showing up to this party. I'm going to have doll. Jason talk to your father. Although I would like to say hi to Sonny. Where is he? I don't know. He went to go check on Kate, I think. Actually, I haven't seen them in a while. It's <laughs> so typical of Sonny to bail on his own birthday party. I just can't believe Kate would let him. Wasn't this whole thing her idea? I'm going to go check on him. Fine. Okay. So, I guess you and Jason made up, huh? I'm sorry, what? You and Jason, stronger than ever. What are you talking about? You do realize it was a big deal for Jason to forgive you after you lied to him about Robin? I was trying to protect him by lying. Carly, I had to choose between telling Jason the truth and possibly killing him or keeping quiet to make sure he survived. And keeping it quiet, what you really mean is controlling what Jason could and could not know. Okay, fine, Carly. I lied to Jason. You told him the truth. You're the best friend ever. Can we please not do this right now? You don't have to get so defensive. I'm just here making conversation, waiting for the guest of honor to show up with you the mystery. You are Kate. the last person I want to talk to right now. Oh, that's right. You don't want to talk to me. You, you certainly don't want to talk to Jason about anything important. Gee, Sam, who do you talk to? Oh, did, uh, did Sam tell you what happened at the church? No, what church? Uh, Queen of Angels. She ran into John McBain there after Robin's funeral. I didn't realize that. Then what? What were you talking about? When did you see Sam with John McBain? Have you ever played telephone? Molly yeah, loves Alexis. It. When did Sam talk with John McBain? Why don't you go straight to the source and ask your wife? You keep saying you love Jason. I do. I love him. Not that you'll ever believe me. Not actually that I give a damn about what you think. Why don't you go bother somebody else? Because you're married to my best friend. So for his sake, I'm going to tell you this. Keeping secrets from the person you love is only going to cause more problems. You would know. For someone who claims to have been honest, you still seem really, really worried. Why is that? Because you're giving me a headache. Right. Mm -hmm. I think I just caught you in another lie. Hey. Hey, why didn't you return my messages? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm busy. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You don't seem fine. Your your messages, they were, you said it was about Sonny and, and Johnny. We right? can talk about it another time. Are you sure? Because, you know, getting in the middle of those two is not, not a good You can idea, warn me it. another time. I think Sam needs to talk to you. What was that about? I don't know, just Carly being Carly, thinking she knows you better than I do. Uh, she can read me pretty well. Well, one thing Carly may be right about is that you're not fine right now, Jason. And if there's something you want to talk about, I mean, I think if you want to talk about the baby, no, maybe we should not the baby. Else. John McBain. Bane? Mm. What about him? 
Well, Alexis told me that you were talking to him. And I thought she meant the time at Queen of Angels. And then I asked her about that, and she had no idea what I was talking about. I don't, I don't remember telling her. OK, so what did Alexis mean? When did you see McBain again? Well, I mean, a few days ago, I stopped by to see my mom, and she had to run out and see the judge, something about Maxie. And she said she wasn't going to be a long time. She told me to wait there. I waited there, and in the meantime, McBain showed up. What do you want? Well, I guess Sonny had Alexis file some sort of restraining order against him, and he wanted to discuss that. Why didn't you tell me before? I didn't, I didn't say anything about John McBain being at my mother's because I didn't think it was important. I, I know, I just, I, I asked you to tell me if he ever approached you again. Yeah, so. but he didn't approach me. He showed up at my mother's house. Hey, he's a cop. Not just any cop, he's ex-FBI and he's got a grudge against Sonny. I know, and Sonny was found not guilty, so I didn't think it was a problem. So I, just, I just needed to know. We just happened to be at the same place at the same time. It was a coincidence, Jason. How long was McBain at the house? I don't, I don't know. Why? Because he will use anybody to get to Sonny, and that includes you. Okay, I mean, I, I know that. I will be careful. Good. Now, you, you said he was there to discuss a restraining order. Yeah. Right. When he found out Alexis wasn't home, did he leave? No. No, he stayed and waited for her. Did you guys talk about anything else while you were waiting? Uh, well, it looks like the party's over. Yeah? Yeah. We didn't even cut the cake yet. Well, the cake got trashed. My dad and Kate have vanished. So I don't know. They took off? Well, Kate supposedly went to go get the cake. Dad went after her, and nobody's seen him since. OK, that's not like Sonny. We should go see if everything's OK. Yeah, I already checked the terrace, Kate's office, the kitchen. I was going to check Dad's office at his house. All right, I'm glad you came to me. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. I'll go, I'll go with no, you. No, no, it's OK. We got it covered. He just walks off and leaves his pregnant wife sitting here? What is going on with the two of you? something more than Jason being a nervous, expectant father. Now, is he in trouble? Did he have some sort of a relapse? No, Jason's fine physically. We're just dealing with some things, and he's not handling it very well. Right, and the more you dance around this, the more worried I'm getting. Well, Jason and I have a lot going on, but, Mom, it, it didn't help that you told him about John McBain. Oh, hold on. This is Max. This, this has to do with Sonny. I'm so sorry. I don't care about, about Sonny. You have to tell me what you told Jason about John. Uh, nothing. Really. Yes, you said something. You said that I was talking to him at your house. I did. I did say that. I need that. to know exactly know what you secret. said to Jason. How did McBain's name Sweetie, even come I up? Just, all I said to Jason was that I want, wanted the two of you to be able to talk to each other. OK. So you wouldn't open up to strangers. You said that I opened up to John? I said something like that. I, I don't know exactly. It wasn't exactly Are those words. Are you kidding words, me? Do that you realize that he's a cop? Yes, that I he's know. He's a FBI? Cop, honey. I know that. OK, well, did it ever occur to you that maybe Jason would have a problem with that? No, it didn't occur to me, because I'm so upset that you're so upset, and I just want him to be more supportive. Well, I mean, it's not Jason's fault. It's his fault that he left his pregnant wife here without a ride home. Now, is the tension between the two of you have something to do with McVeigh? I mean, it has to do with a lot of things, but yes, McBain is one of them. What happened in the church? Oh, Mom, it's a long story. Party's over. I got all night. OK, I ran into John after Robin's funeral, and I didn't know who he was, and I just started talking. And of course, Jason was not happy with that. All right. I didn't mean to fuel the fire. But for future reference, if you had confided in me, I would know what secrets to keep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I implied that you did something wrong. You didn't. It's just very complicated. Well, I'm sorry, too. And let me make it up. I'll drive you home, all right? And then we'll stop and we'll get some dessert. That is very sweet. Thank you. But I think I'm going to wait here for Jason. I'm confident the two of you are going to be able to work this out. I hope so. He loves you, you love him, you both love this baby. It's all fine. Oh, 
Hey. Jason, here, here. What happened? That cop, John McBain, showed up with a search warrant. How, how'd he get a warrant? He's from Pennsylvania. He doesn't even have jurisdiction. He's got connections at the Bureau. FBI's got his back on this one. If the DNA markers are close, is there a chance that they, they could be wrong? No, it's 99.9% certain, and I had the DNA test run against both potential fathers. How? How what? Franco, Franco's dead. I, how'd you get his DNA? A contact at the FBI. All right, tell me everything that happened from the time McBain came in. It, it, were you with him the whole time? No, someone else showed up. Who? Hold on, hold on. Just tell me everything that happened first. He knocked, I answered the door. He said he had a birthday gift for the boss. I opened it. It was a newspaper article on a frame. You know, it was nothing. I was going to throw him out, and that's when he showed me the search warrant. You see it? It's right here. It looked real to me. I was going to call Miss Davis, but she didn't pick up. Yeah, McBain's too smart to try to bluff his way in with a fake warrant. Plus, he'd want anything he finds to be admissible. How, how much of the house did he search? I don't know. The whole thing, probably. Went up the stairs, came out the kitchen. But he couldn't have found anything. The boss doesn't keep anything Max, sensitive here. this is not good. It's not good. You knew we were watching out for McBain. That's why Bernie emailed everybody a picture, so we knew who to look for. I, I mean, how could you let him wash, walk through the house alone? I'm sorry. Like I said, someone else came to the door. Some doctor looking for Miss Howard. Was it Dr. Keenan? Yeah, that's him. He said he had to speak with her. He, he even wanted me to tell him where the party was so we could track her down. I said, there's no way you're spoiling Mr. C's birthday. There's nothing to spoil. Both my dad and Kate bailed on the party. I think they had a fight or something. Are you sure? I mean, the boss has been really happy lately. <laughs> Except for the trial, of course. Basically, Miss Howard walks on water. Yes, yeah, sp speaking of that, how, how has Kate been treating you lately? What do you mean? I mean, is she polite? Is she friendly? What? Uh, she's been a little tense, snapped at me a few times. But, uh, guys, we've dealt with worse. What did Dr. Keenan say about her? He just said that he had to speak with her, that it was urgent and confidential. Any idea what's going on here? No, but I'm going to find out. Yes, I knew it. Cocolat is open, and they have the best bitter chocolate mousse cake. OK, that sounds good. You should just pick up a piece and take it on to Molly. Yeah, but I'd rather go with you. I want to treat you to some dessert. You said you don't even know if Jason's coming back. I think I'm going to take my chances. All right, well, I'll wait with you if you want. No, I, I, we've got a lot to work through, Mom. All right, well, there's not much you can do if he keeps shutting you out. Yeah, I know. It's just this is the way Jason deals with things. It's, you know, his process. Yes, I know his process. I just want him to be supportive of you. He will. I mean, I hope so. But like you said, he... He loves me. He loves this baby. Everything's gonna be okay. He loves really love it. Jason. Hey, hey. Is, uh, is Dr. Keenan here? Is he around, you know? He left a little while ago. Uh, is he coming back? He went looking for a patient. I don't know how long that'll take. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. Um... The other day when I was here looking for Sam, you said you saw her talking to some guy. Right? Was this him? What's this about? Elizabeth, just tell me. Is this the guy you saw Sam with? Yeah, that's him. Hey. You listening in there? There's some things I need to tell you. You know, one of these days, you're going to look up into the sky and you're going to see these big, bright lights. <laughs> and those lights, they're called stars. The stars have been one thing I have always been able to count on. No matter where I am, I can look up in the sky. see those lights and I could feel safe. And then I met Jason, and I never felt safer with anyone than in his arms. Tonight when I walked in, I, uh, I felt something I didn't quite recognize. Just a peace.
and you give me that. And when I walk into a room that we call home, I finally, Jason, I finally know what it means to be happy. It's just that I would not, I would not trade any of my life with you. None of it. Not for the world. And that, that to me, is the real gift. But you're gonna know what that feels like because he is such a good person and he's gonna be such a great father. Just don't wanna lose him. <sighs> Please don't let me lose him. Oh, send me a sign that everything's gonna be okay. Jason?